Hey what's up guys Tanmay for Simple Snippets and today's video tutorial is going to be a practical program in java programming and the program that we are going to type is to find a factorial of a number so we are going to be writing a program to find the factorial of a number and i hope you know what factorial is so you can see question number 1 and i have given two examples so 5 factorial would be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which would be 120 similarly 4 factorial would be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and so on so now you get the point what a factorial is and we are going to be writing the logic for this kind of scenario so we are going to be taking a number into a integer variable and then we are going to be printing out the factorial value that would be 120 so if i enter the number 5 the output should be 120 so that's what we are going to be programming so quickly open up your netbeans ide so that you can program along with me i would really recommend that you program along with me for the best practice so let's start off with the program and in this program we are going to be using the looping control statement that is the for loop now we've already discussed the conditional as well as the looping statements in this entire playlist so if you have missed those videos you can check it out i have individually covered all those topics so let's start off with the first thing that we're going to be declaring a variable i'm going to say int num is equal to 5 so we're going to be calculating the factorial of 5 so i'm just directly hard coding the value you can also declare a scanner variable or a buffer reader to take in input but we haven't yet discussed how to take input from user in this entire playlist in detail so we've seen a program before but we haven't talked about how to take input because it's slightly different in java and it's not straight forward i'll show you in a minute how that works but right now we'll just hard code the value so now we want to calculate factorial right so i'm going to make one more or create one more variable named factorial and i'm going to assign value 1 to it as of now and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a for loop which is a looping control statement inside that i'm going to create the first initialization int i equals to and i'm going to say int i equals to num which is this num variable that we just created so it has 5 right so this 5 will be going into the i value then i'm going to say i greater than 0 and the decrement operator is going to be i minus minus so i'll explain to you what exactly happens step by step and of course we are going to dry run this entire program and see what happens step by step at every step in the for loop so that you understand exactly what is going on but for now just follow me and inside the for loop the first thing that i'm going to say is factorial is equal to factorial star i so that's it guys this is the one single statement that we have to write in this for loop and then outside the for loop when the for loop gets over i'm going to say system dot out dot print ln factorial is and then i'm just going to append this value of factorial variable so that's it and let me just save this and let's first test this out so right now the number is 5 so we should get an answer of 120 okay so we got the output of factorial is 120 which means it's working fine let's double check it one more time let me give the num as 4 run this and it should give 24 yes it is getting 24 if you want to check it one more time let's give 3 so 3 factorial will be 3 into 2 into 1 which would be 6 and there you go factorial is 6 which means our factorial program is perfect now let's understand what exactly is happening inside the for loop so for that i'm just going to open a notepad and we'll dry run each and every step over here so for simplicity we'll start off with num equals to 4 so before for loop what all things we have we have num equals to 4 then we have factorial equals to 1 and that's it right we have two integer variables which we have declared and assigned values and then the for loop starts so let's start off with the step number 1 at for loop the very first step that happens is the initialization step that is int i equals to num you can see over here so i will become 4 because i equals to num which is this num which is having the value of 4 okay so let me just first say step number 1 so then the condition is i greater than 0 so is i greater than 0 yes i is 4 which is greater than 0 so this condition is true now the for loop will be executed so factorial variable is equal to factorial star i so what does this mean now factorial we have the value stored as 1 right so of course lhs is not considered we are just taking rhs and being assigning it to lhs right this is how assignment happens assignment always happens from rhs to lhs so whatever the value of factorial would be overwritten by this rhs value so factorial currently is 1 so this is 1 right so let me just replace this with 
and what is the value of i i is 4 so we have 1 star 4 which would be 4 so this is going to be stored ultimately in the factorial variable so this was step number one because we have only one statement let's see what happens at step number two now at step number two first decrement happens so you can see i minus minus so this minus minus is a decrement operator which reduces the value by one for this i variable now what is i i was initialized as four right so now i has become three okay so now let's see the condition so now the initialization doesn't happen it only happens once at the beginning of the for loop so now we directly go to the checking of the condition so is i greater than zero yes i is three which is still greater than zero which means the condition is true so now again the factorial statement will be executed so the factorial now would be factorial is equal to factorial star i so now the latest value of factorial is four star i so the latest value of i is three so four threes are 12 right so the new value of factorial will be 12 so you can see how multiplication is going on and slowly we are getting our factorial value let's see step 3 and then it will be very clear now i becomes 2 by decrement so this was the last step so i minus minus happened so i become 2 so for step 3 i is equal to 2 now again factorial will be equal to factorial star i and now factorial value is 12 so the latest value of factorial is 12 and the latest value of i you can see it has become 2 so 12 twos are 24 okay so we are pretty much reaching our answer we pretty much actually got our answer but i is 2 and i is still greater than 0 which means that it will still run one more time so let's see step number 4 the decrement happens and i becomes 1 1 is still greater than 0 right so this factorial statement is again executed so now the latest value of factorial is 24 and the latest value of i you can see over here is 1 so 24 into 1 will be 24 now again for step 5 the decrement happens and i becomes 0 so i when i becomes 0 the condition here i greater than 0 becomes false because 0 cannot be greater than 0 right 0 can be equal to 0 but it cannot be greater than 0 which means that the execution stops over here so this was the exact behind the scenes scenario of the for loop what was going on in the program while execution and this is basically what we did here is called as dry running the entire code by noting all the variable values step by step at every step and i hope now this program is very clear you can give any value over here and the factorial will be calculated exactly the same so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood how to calculate factorial of a number using for loop or using a looping control statement so this same program can be done using a while loop as well because while and for loop pretty much work the same just that the syntax is different and if you want me to show you a program using while loop you can let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts you can always put them in the comment section and let me know how this video was was it helpful and if it was please share it with your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial peace